listeners, this is Utkarsh Rai and today I am going to talk about why thrice I said no to promotion at different stages of my career. Promotion is a long wait for short happiness. Professionals work hard and wait for the promotion. When it comes, they become happy for a few weeks or months and then they again start dreaming for the next one. This way, they spend their whole career. Everyone's desire is to get promoted and when someone refuses the promotion, it sounds weird. But thrice, I said no to promotion. Just like others, I also wanted to grow fast, get promoted fast. But some promotions at time might sound lucrative and give instant happiness, but it might run counter to one's aspiration. So watch my video until the end where I am going to share three short stories when I said no to promotion and the lessons which you can learn from them. And if you have not already liked and subscribed to my channel, then please do it. Also watch my other popular video, Four Untrue Truths About Promotions. First story, when I said no to a manager position. I was in a technical ladder as a tech lead and recently returned from a two years stint from Germany. The organization was growing fast and they were adding more manager positions. My manager happily shared that I was being considered for one such promotion. Initially, I was ecstatic, but then I mulled it over and found that this promotion is premature. I was in my sixth year of career. Leaving my technical hands so soon would not provide me a strong foundation as a manager. Management skills like decision making requires a strong in-depth experience in technical areas. I wanted to be in technical ladder for a few years more before I could think about moving to management ladder. Moreover, I was thinking to move to USA to gain different work experiences and this promotion will reduce my chances to go to USA as recruiters were scouting for technical skills, not managerial one. Initially, my manager was surprised when he came to know that I wanted to be in technical ladder for a few more years, but later he agreed. Lesson number one. Be clear what you want from your career in the next two to four years and weigh any promotion against it. Second story, I said no to an Asia Pacific head role. In late 90s, after coming back from USA, I joined a US headquartered R&D center in India. I was dreaming to become a GM where I could get an opportunity to start and build an R&D center. I could see that these R&D centers would grow and would become a major player in the organization. I started to track careers of those who were heading the R&D center and started looking for opportunities. I stumbled an opportunity where just one and a half year old US headquartered startup wanted to set up a center in India. This was quite unheard because at that time only mature startup or established players were setting up centers in India. The risk of joining such unbranded young not proven startup was high but I wanted to taste the GM experience. When my management came to know, they offered me Asia Pacific head role of a technology vertical. Certainly, Asia Pacific role is much bigger than India role, but it was not a GM position. I wanted to be a GM so that I can gain experience of setting policies and culture, building teams, delivering projects, taking care of thousands of families and feel proud of bringing foreign exchange to India. I said no to that promotion. Lesson number two, some promotions can be a golden handcuff which can delay or kill your ambition. Third story, when I said no to a global software head role. After being GM for 15 years and in tech industry for three decades, I was contemplating to start my solo pronier journey. Around that time, my CXO asked me to come to USA to take over global software head role as it was going to vacate soon. For a software engineer, becoming a global software head was a big thing. But then at this stage of my life and career, I did not want to move to USA. The incremental benefit which I was going to get in my career appeared to weigh less than the impact which is going to happen in the other aspects of life. A few months after quitting, the company again asked me to rejoin and take over a global software head position in USA. I was humbled, but then I politely declined. Lesson number three, career is just one aspect of life. So before taking any promotion, try to understand the impact it will have on the other aspects of life and then take a call. So professionals, you have learned three lessons from my career stories, but the world is full of many other examples where promotion initially gave happiness to professionals, but later on, they started to feel sidelined, capped or pumped. I 
hope you like this video you like share and subscribe to my channel thank you